Hello guys, today we are playing a 2v2 match on a beautiful map, Anorian in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on a patch 2.22. Everybody is picking random on the most classical and most iconic 2v2 map in the, in the game. And we will get to play double Rohan, which is not the best combination, but maybe we can make it work. The northwestern territory of Gondor that forms the border between Gondor and Rohan. I mean, if we lose, we can always say where was Gondor when Anorian fell. Okay, double farm opening and always recruit Merid of Brandybuck. The Hobbits, they have an incredible amount of impact at the beginning of the game. Ball check and the top side is actually evil. And, you know, um, yeah, I mean, this is going to be a tough matchup, but you guys know me. I like challenges quite a lot. And hopefully with the power of the Rohirrim and with the power of the Redamar, we can make it work. They have a much better combination. They have a good faction at the bottom side an evil faction at the top side of the map so basically when you combine good and evil in a 2v2 match that's the best combination ever because they have mobility and they have also insane amount of economy and leadership bonuses and when you play double rohan you have like quite a lot of limitations because you cannot have double tier and leadership you know what i'm saying the tier and leadership does not stack and therefore rohan isengard combination which is gonna be quite hard for us Okay, we need to try to deal as much economical damage as we potentially can. So the early game, that's where we need to shine bright like a diamond. But I don't want to recruit too many additional peasants in this game, because I want to actually, you know, build up the stable as quickly as I potentially can to get those Rohirrim on the field very early to create more pressure. And my ally can actually go for the Rohirrim archers or for the middle camp. So basically, when you play two times the same factions in a 2v2 match, especially on a map like Anorian, which is not the biggest map ever, then you need to kind of... How can I say? You need to kind of coordinate. You don't want to do the same thing. When you both go for the Rohirrim, the opening can easily counter that, right? By recruiting multiple pikemen or the Rohan player can recruit here marches which are also a great counter to the horses i mean the enemy rohan player did a mistake because he should be actually trying to defend himself now we can maybe deal a lot of damage and it looks like this isengard player was also opening with a double furnace and he has no units on the field as we are talking, only the starting Urukai. But again, the Uruks, they are way, way stronger. And instead of trying to fight them, you need to try to deal economical damage by trying to destroy the Lamry camp. Okay, we can capture this now. That's good. And we can also cloak the Hobbit later on. But I want to actually use the Hobbit to create more pressure. Okay, I mean, hold on a second. I'm running into the tower. Maybe you're the Bog, please. Okay, we're in a good spot. If we can take down this mill, that's gonna be actually huge. We can fight this, no problem. We need to kind of make sure that the hobbits are... Hobbit is not tanking the damage. And that the Uruks are kind of splitting the damage. As you can see, the positioning is the key to, in, you know, the key to victory in those kind of skirmishes. Okay, I mean, we basically destroyed every single settlement from Isengard. So his eco shouldn't be the best as we are talking. And hopefully, you know, we can rush him down very soon. But again, the longer the game goes on, the, the more difficult this matchup is gonna get, you know? Because the Rohan from the enemy team will have everything that we also have on the field. And they have additionally to that Isengard with Warchan, with Lord to cripple down the heroes, with the Freezing Rain to shut down our, all our leadership bonuses, Saruman, Fireball from a long distance. So basically two separate factions, much more possibilities. Elma start from the op from my ally. I personally don't enjoy Elma start against Isengard because keep in mind that Isengard has a very very easy way to shut down an enemy hero, and the answer to this is Lord. So the second Lord is on the field. Elma can't really approach them, and so can Theodin. And I think when you play double Rohan against Rohan Isengard, my ally should be going for the middle camp. I'm the host player, and I'm also good with the horses, so when I go for the cavalry, my ally should be going for the middle camp. This way, he can offer a lot of utility and sustain, so I can go just to the middle camp and heal up and keep rushing all the time, and also he can recruit archers to support me with the rushes to kill the pikemen. Okay, my ally is actually having Elma on the field. Okay, we have almost one power point collected for the heal. The land is full of danger. Meriadoc is doing a phenomenal job throwing rocks all the time on this Uruk's head. Okay, nice. So, nice. So, we are creeping a lot. That's very good and very important. 
Oh, oh, oh. Don't, 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 don't. My money, dude. My money. Don't touch my money. Oh, damn. Actually, he used the... Uh, <laughs> used the Palantir. So, we need to try to micro around to not lose the Rohirrim. As you can see, the Palantir has now a new visual effect, which is added from the patch 2.22. Let's use heal on the Hobbit and also on the Rohirrim at the same time. You can, you know, we need to keep microing around. Run in circles. If you run in a straight line, they will always be able to catch to you and you will lose the Rohirrim. That's not what, we, what you want to do, guys. Hey, touch this. They did, they did, they did. <laughs> Dude, I wish I could put so much music into those videos, guys, but unfortunately, I can't. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we have level 4. Oh, but what is... Oh my goodness, the pikemen are chunking my Merida Brain Bog. Oh, I couldn't get invisible either. That's bad. Okay, we have a Rohirrim Archer. The reason why I was recruiting the Rohirrim Archer, if you are wondering, is because I want to get the stable to level 2 ESAP. And the Rohirrim Archer, in compared to the normal Rohirrim, gives double EXP. So basically, by recruiting the Rohirrim Archer Battalion, we will be able to get the stable to level 2 way, way faster. And also, we can use Rohirrim Archer to actually keep shooting down at the enemy Rohirrim all the time. And my ally needs a lot of time, and hopefully I will be able to provide him this time. Because when you go for Elma, it's like a slow opening, and you need time to scale. So you need them, you need to get him to level 4, you need to get Fire Arrows, Rohirrim Archers, Heavy Armor, Benham, Theodine. You need lots of money and lots of time. And that's all I can do for him, because... Very soon, I will not be able to do a lot in this in this matchup because the Isengard will eventually have multiple pikemen upon the field. Okay. I want to rush him with the Forge Blades and the shields and hopefully he won't have too many pikemen inside the castle to stop me. Can I catch him? Shoot! Rohirrim archers! Shoot! 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 shoot. Oh! Micro! 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 Go for a trample! Go for a trample! Nice. These are power points, boys. He has lords on the field. Now that's very good for Isengard. And that means our ally cannot really approach this army. Because lords level 1 has a cripple ability, which is super annoying to deal with. You know what I'm saying? It's so hard to deal with for any hero. Basically, you cannot move. You cannot play the game for like 30 seconds. Which is, in most cases, enough time for the enemy team to take down any hero. Like Aragorn... Gandalf, everyone would be dead, and especially squishy heroes like Elma and Theodine, they are not the tankiest heroes in the game, so they will definitely go down to one single pikeman. Remember, when you mount a hero, you will lose 150% armor against pikemen. So pikemen will be one-shotting you. Okay, we are, in a, in a, we are not in a bad spot, I would say. Um, but again, we were not able to do any economical damage since the beginning of the game. I mean, we only dealt... Uh, we only destroyed the Lamin Mills actually once, and destroying them now again is easier said than done with Rohirrim only. And I also need time to skill. I need the heavy armor, I need lots of shenanigans. So, let's go for a rush. I'm gonna actually keep shooting down those pikemen all the time. And hopefully, I'm gonna try to go for the Uruk pit. If I can go for the Uruk pit, which, by the way, is the uh, is the heart of the Isengard castle. It's the most valuable and most important structure in the Isengard castle. It will slow him down so much. Not only he will lose insane amount of production speed, it means his units are gonna join the battlefield way, way slower, but also he won't be able to recruit any more pikemen anytime soon. Oh, Lord is throwing the carnage. Uh, we got a Beal. We cannot fight this. I uh, has pikemen inside the castle and we have no heavy armor yet. So even with the shields, we are still taking lots of damage from the sentry towers. And our Rohirrim are only level 1 or 2. I mean, this one is level 3, but... I'm gonna try to kill this dude, but I don't think I can. Oh my goodness. Oh, what? What killed him, dude? That's so bad. That's so bad, actually. And my ally is... Uh, my ally needs to support me in those kind of situations. You know what I'm saying? He was actually sitting in the base. Um, I cannot. I mean, basically, if you <laughs> go for the Rohirrim Archer while I'm going for the Rohirrim, then I need you to actually try to kill the pikemen. And also the enemy Rohan has now... Enemy Rohan can play it slow, because he doesn't have to be hurry up, uh, as we are not creating enough pressure on him. Like, basically, we need to be the one who is creating pressure on the enemy team, because Isengard will skill harder than Rohan. Rohan is an early mid-game faction, 
I mean, also late game faction if you get like glorious charge and stuff like this. But I think we are far away from this point. I mean, we are so poor, dudes. I mean, I'm gonna demolish this armory and buy the most heavy armor, and hopefully, we will be able to get inside the jeans very soon. Okay, now we have Forge Pleats, Heavy Armor, and the Horseman Shields. That's the strongest you can become with the Rohirrim. I mean, obviously, we can get also leadership, but I'm not gonna go for Theodin myself, because I'm a melee fighter, and uh, my Theodin is gonna die every single time. So, I'm, I'm, you know, me going for Theodin is actually gonna be a waste of money, and also, uh, you know, I will be feeding the opponent team with additional power points, and I don't want that to happen. Hey, it's the enemy! Stay sharp! Stay sharp! of the mark! I mean, look how many Pikemen he has on the field, dude. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's crazy. That's crazy. And also, Rohan is defending his ally all the time. Like, that's why I'm saying we need help. We need additional support here. My ally is coming now with the Rohirrim archers in fire, but the enemy has now Saruman upon the field. And Saruman is very hard to deal with. Um, until you get Eoma leadership, or until you have like highly leveled Rohirrim archers to burst him down. But keep in mind, and that's the one thing I always keep saying, the evil good combination is so good, because if you're Rohan ally when you play Isengard Saruman, you can actually go for a risky play, because in a worst case scenario, your ally actually can heal your Saruman, and you will get away. Because what is the weakness of the evil factions in this game? It's the lack of recovery and the lack of sustain. And with the Rohan faction as your ally when you play Isengard, the weakness is no more, right? Okay, so this is going to be tough, boys. It's going to be really tough because this guy has legit only a pikeman army with lords and Saruman. So I cannot approach. I'm gonna go for the Elven Wood actually. You know, maybe he makes also some combos at some point of the game because with pikeman all alone, he won't be able to win the game. I wanna also recruit heroes later on. But I'm not gonna recruit Tyrion anytime soon. I, I'm thinking about Legolas though, because with Legolas, um, Legolas is a great anti-hero himself. So basically, we can keep shooting down Saruman and Lord from a long distance. In this way, they will be chunked, and they cannot really go for a big engagement. So um, the last thing that you want to have is that this Saruman gets into the range to use the Warm Tongue to steal half your army. And with Legolas shooting at look, shooting at his face all the time. This is gonna be hard to be accomplished. Okay, let's go for a rush once again uh, with three Rohirrim, one from the top and two from the bottom. Let's see how much damage we can actually deal. I see Armory. Let's use Heal, split them up, and we need to try to kill as many buildings and structures as we can to get more power points collected. That's our only hope. But you see, he has Lord, Saruman. Oh, he missed the Warm Tongue. It's good for us. Uh, but I will lose a Rohirrim for this. And you see. <laughs> I need my ally here with me, you know what I'm saying? Use the war chant. I can use Elven Wood, but I, I'm afraid that they might also have the Elven Wood or Tainted Land. We can actually turn and fight. We have also leadership here with Rohirrim Archer. Okay. Um, I'm gonna recruit Legolas now, boys. Hopefully, if you want. The problem is with Legolas, he's very good hero. I mean, he's very underrated. Trust me, like, he's very good. But the problem is, um, he is expensive. 2700 in Battle for Middle of One is actually lots of money, and he will be only level 1, while the stuff he has to kill and deal with will be wa way higher leveled. And his DPS will get stronger each level he takes, but leveling him up after this fiesta. You have my Oh, what? Dude, did you guys see this? He killed full battalion of my Rohirrim Fireball. Kill this guy, kill Theodin, please. Kill Theodin at least. Legolas. Okay, we killed Theodin. I mean, my ally killed Theodin, it's good. Now we're gonna make a move, though. I mean, now is the time for us to shine. I can use also Elvin Wood. The problem is, he has just too many pikemen for my personal taste, so I cannot fight his army. I can just hope that my ally can fight the pikemen, and once the pikemen are gone, then I can play the game and I can do stuff. You know, I can go for the peace rush. Oh, what is the Saruman doing? Kill Saruman, kill Saruman. I want, I mean, this Saruman is actually, he's not paying attention. I'm not gonna shoot him. Yes, he's not paying attention. If I can get the last with Legolas, it's gonna be huge, actually. I will not take long. 
No, please get the last. Oh, I wanted to get the last Legolas, but it's okay, I guess. I mean, it's better than nothing. We killed uh, Saruman. It's good. You know, that's gonna buy us some so much time. And my ally, I don't know what my ally is doing, uh, but I think Lord is also dead. Like when, that's the momentum. Now you gotta come and join with me. You know, you gotta come and join with me. I'm gonna use uh, Hold S so I can fight them in melee range. I'm gonna use Elvin Hood. Now we can trample as they are turning their back. So if they are combining this with Pikeman Crossbowman combo, the second they turn their back, I can trample because the Crossbowman are gonna be defenseless. Used, oh my goodness, big fiesta. I need to micro around with my Legolas to not lose them. My heat is on cooldown. I don't want to lose my Legolas. He just joined the battlefield. He's on. He's only level one. I see heal. My ally is also shooting from a different direction. I don't know whose land this is though. I have no clue. I don't know if this is from Rohan or from our ally Rohan. <laughs> okay, my ally is actually doing good. But he needs to keep those heroes next to his Rohirrim archers. The thing you want to do when you play Rohirrim archer style of a, of a play, you want to get your Theodine to level 4. That's your priority. You need Glorious Charge. With Glorious Charge, we can actually fight them. I can go for a trample because even if I trample into the pikeman one single time, I won't lose my Rohirrim if they will get additionally crazy amount of armor. But without Glorious Charge, it's very tough. And my, my ally student is actually still level 1 only without any experience. So hopefully the middle camp is going to be kind of helpful. Um, the good thing is when you control the middle, which is like in the center of the map Anorian, then you don't need to go all the way back to your main castle to heal up. So we can demolish the well now to get additional spot for additional farm and get this way more money. And the good thing is we can now hit and run all the time, right? We don't we don't need to fully commit. We can hit and then we can go back, heal up and do this over and over again and play the PowerPoint game. So we need to try to get as many power points unlocked as we potentially can. We need Anduri Sword, we need Ains, we need Cloud Break, we need <laughs> Army of the Dead. We need lots of stuff. But also the enemy Rohan is getting strong. Really, really strong. He has a high leveled Eoma, which means he will have much more leadership than us. And also keep in mind that... Oh, but Eoma is dead. Uh, hold on a second. Can I... Oh, strike, please. Oh, nice. Pew, boom, sun on your face. Legolas is hitting like a truck, dude. I'm telling you boys, Legolas is so underrated. And the good thing is, once we get Legolas to level 4 for the, for the train archers, we can also use that on the Rohirrim archers from our ally. That's also very good. Okay, we have 3 power points collected. Um, I think the Elven ally special summon will be kinda pointless at this point of the game. I think so, at least. Okay, let's go for a rush, if we can. I sense evil may be near. The oh, Saruman is back in the business. Okay. And that's the, that's, that's the part where Legolas can shine bright like a diamond. So we can now keep shooting down Saruman all the time from a long distance, right? That's very good. Okay, we need to wait until the fight. Oh, but they have also a huge army here. Do you see this army, the big, big clash? Oh, don't get into the melee range. Now we need to disengage. When you see the war chant, there is no reason to fight, right? We can always peel back and use the mobility advantage. The Rohirrim arches, they are no match against combos. They cannot fight this. But what they can do is keep the distance. Oh, fireball is coming in clutch. Now we gotta, we gotta hit and run, hit and run. We don't, we don't wanna... Oh, my Legolas! Oh, man. I didn't pay attention. <laughs> okay, we killed him. I'm gonna use heal. Saruman is coming. We gotta kill Saruman, though. Oh no, he stole everything, dude! And that's what I'm talking about, you see, he healed him! I wanted to summon the Elven allies to actually finish him off, but he healed him even. My allies, Aragorn, just get one-shotted. He stole all the Rohirrim arches, dude, I cannot believe it, and he will be losing every single one of them. You gotta move, and you see him casting this, you need to press X on your keyboard and split them up, because that's what just happened. It could not be any worse, guys. Oh my goodness, what an absolute fiesta. He stole all the Rohirrim arches from our ally, dude. The Saruman is proving his quality and showing that he is not less worthy in compared to Gandalf. Dude, that's... <laughs> now we are screwed, though. I, I don't think we can win this game anymore after this what just happened, because not only he lost, like, in maybe in worth and more than 4,000 resources, 
Auch von Kingdom Arches, but also. Um, he also lost level high level units. You cannot replace them. Dude, I mean, that's their land, I think. I don't know. Oh my goodness, he's hitting like a truck, dude. Oh, they are coming to middle. Freezing Rain is active. They gotta demolish the buildings to not feed him enough power points. I don't know what to do, boys. I have Aragorn here. <laughs> With Anduri's sword. I don't know if Aragorn can do enough stuff. They're diving in. Okay, we can maybe try to kill Saruman. Oak strike him, Legolas, come on. Phew, hit him one more time, one more time, one more time, Legolas. Nice, Legolas, good job. We killed his wizard, uh, but Ar Aragorn is gonna die. We have no heal from the spell book. There is no chance we can survive this. But he has just too many units at this point, right? He has just too many units. And I lost every single of my... I was only paying attention to my Aragorn and Legolas. I lost... I I'm at zero command points, boys. I'm at zero command points. In this combos, they don't want to die. They don't want to die. They don't want to die. We have no leadership at all. We have no leadership at all. He's trying to kill my Legolas too. Spear throwing with Elma even. I don't know, man. I don't know what we can do here. I mean, the, the thing is, if we would have leadership, this would be over. When you fight around the statue, but that's the power of Isengard. You will be able to shut down your leadership bonuses entirely, and you have no chance to do anything about that. I will not take long. Walk strike. Phew. Okay. You don't even want to die, man. They don't even want to die, boys. He's coming with the level 6 Rohirrim now. He has level 7 Rohirrim. He has so much DPS. Ooh, I don't know if he shot call it, guys. I think it's over now at this point. We cannot win this game anymore. Um, but, you know what? We're gonna fight until the end. We are warriors. You know what? I mean? We are not dodgers. We're gonna play, we're gonna play and fight for this victory. Oh, and I'm also feeding so many power points. We gotta demolish everything here. Um, dude, I, I've lost so much. And now we need to rebuy the well in, inside the castle. We need to revive Aragorn. We need to get additional... Rohit him up on the field. Uh, I don't know. Like, this is crazy. We are poor. I, I cannot recruit Aragorn at this point. I can't. Um, I'm actually pretty tempted to go for the end allies and actually, you know, go for a sneaky attack for the Rohan castle. Maybe that's the play. But I'm... I, I don't know. Like, that's what I was trying to say always since the beginning of the game. You know, the longer the game goes on, the harder this matchup is going to get. And I think you can see that with your own eyes. Like, I was hoping that we can create more pressure and that the Isengard will be forced to use the Freezing Rain defensively and then we can just peel back in the middle, click over, heal up, but we didn't create enough pressure and he was not forced to use the rain defensively. He was actually using it offensively and when you can use it offensively, you can take down everything you want. And remember, the Rohan faction has no siege weapons upon the field. In the second I'm moving on, the enemy Rohirrim are gonna chase us down all the all the time. Legolas, run, 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 run. No, Legolas. That's the power of <laughs> Lords. What can I say? That's what Lords can do to you every single time. Can you see here? I don't know who is winning this fight, by the way. I have no clue. My ally should be aiming for the heroes. Uh, you don't want to fight against anything else. You want to aim for the heroes because he has now glorious charge. And my ally has no glorious charge yet. Okay, he's finally dead. But oh, there is also Saruman. Dude, this is the waypoint I said from the bees. Yeah, that's the problem, right? I mean, my ally has not hidden on the field since the beginning of the game. And the enemy has like, you know, faster glorious charge. And that's really bad, though. I mean, <laughs> you need... That's the one thing, you know. You have to try to get your tier into level 4. That's not very hard too because every time you throw a spear you can place your Theoden next to Eoma and then you can share experience. A Theoden can't level up solo but there is something called sharing experience. So basically you can just be staying close to the Rohir Archers and then you will be leveling up passively anyway. But yeah, it is, it is how it is boys. It is how it is. <laughs> yeah, this is not looking good for us man. Oh my goodness, I was never that behind. I don't know what to do when I'm behind, when I'm behind like this, though. I have no clue. Um, maybe I should have gone for the Rohirrim Archer myself. But I wanted to get Elma, uh, not Elma, Aragorn and Legolas on the field. Uh, yeah. 
Oh, the last march of the ends. I will go with you to the end. Okay, they want to siege my ally now. <laughs> and I have not much. I have Aragorn and Turuhirim. And hopefully, I mean, I'm pretty close for the end summon. And what you can do with the end summon, I know people are underestimating the end summon, but with, what you can do with that is you can spawn the ends on top of the enemy army. That's what you can do. Oh, I don't know, man. Okay. My ally is using his own elven wood. If they cover this, I can cover this with my own elven wood. I go level 6. I'm gonna summon now the ends on top of the enemy combos and then lose land on top of that because they cover this with the tainted land. Now I can use the ends to trample down those combos. And ends, they don't care about your leadership bonuses. If they trample you, they act like a Mooma Kill Battalion. The damage from the trample is insane. They will one shot you regardless what you are doing. Aragorn can kill this ends, hopefully. I mean, the ends are also hitting like a truck. We have Aragorn level 7. If we can somehow magically get Aragorn to level 10, this can be our win condition. Because the Isengard army is strong, but they are immobile. And if I can summon the one battalion of Offbreakers, I can chase them down. And remember, Offbreakers, they don't take damage from units. It means only Saruman could kill them, which is also risky for him. Okay. We are getting power points, lots of them, actually. Oh, my ally is... My ally needs to try to repair this broken part of the wall. That's very important. Can I kill this Saruman somehow? I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay, our ends actually, did you guys see our ends were doing a phenomenal job here? I want to kill this Saruman though. <laughs> they are kicking the Rohirrim in the, in the butt. Shh, attack Aragorn, attack, 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 attack. Oh, but they are also highly level dude, this Rohirrim archer, everything. The problem is, as long as there is like an um, opening inside the castle of my ally, dude, my, my waypoint from the stable, they keep going to the middle. <laughs> I think I could have not played this game any worse, guys. I'm sorry for disappointing you. I could have not played this game any worse. Trust me that one. Like, I think in total I lost like 10 battalion of Rohirrim. If I wouldn't lose them. I mean, to be honest, it's hard to not lose them. Because the Rohan was chasing me all the time. The Isengard was having like 100 spikemen inside the castle. And... I have an idea. I'm gonna actually go for a sneak attack. I think that's the best bet we can do. Okay, my ally is repairing the wall. That's very good. And also, he needs to close the gate. I can't approach this army. Look at this high level through here from the opening team. And they have so much leadership too. With Saruman, Lord, Theoden, Elna. Like, we are not only getting out spam, but also we are getting out class with the army. And <laughs> maybe with the army after that. And we still need five power points for that. Five power points we need. Can we get it somehow? I'm gonna go for the base of Isengard. And hopefully... Oh! Hopefully the Saruman is not paying attention. Oh, he is paying attention. I don't know, man. I don't know what we can do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to fish power points with Legolas too. Take this. Yeah, uh, Legolas is still killing them, but... I mean, Legolas all alone can't kill everything. That's not possible. Lourdes is being catch off guard, but he crippled down the enemy, uh, our allies, Theodine. Killing those statues and wells is very good, because they give a lot of power points and experience. Oh, this Lourdes is not even close to be dead. <laughs> I was expecting him to be dead. The problem is, um, the Freezing Rain is again available for Isengard. And this is going to be tough, because if they go for the siege very soon, then we cannot do anything. We need to we try to not fight the opening units, but also, you know, it's like a tricky situation, guys. We cannot fight the enemy army. That's not possible. What we have to do is we need to try to get power points collected. And now you might be asking yourself, but James, how you want to get power points without fighting the enemy team? It's easy. I mean, it's not easy, but it's possible. Oh my goodness, they are chunking my Legolas. We need to try to go for the structures. Always go for the structures. We need glorious charge. That's the win condition we need. That's the win condition we have to get. That's the only win condition. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, AOD is good, but I'm assuming that Isengard is also eventually very close. Remember the play he made with the Rohirrim Archer Steel, with the Warm Tongue from Saruman? He was able to kill so many of them. This alone was giving him additionally maybe 5 power points in total. And long story short... Oh man, 
We need to get power points, but they have so much leadership nowadays. Combos. I don't know if we can kill them. We are killing them, actually. But Legolas is still hitting like a truck. I like that. I mean, that is Lord's level 8 too. Can I catch him with the arrow wind somehow? Okay. Maybe he's not paying attention. And that, that's the time for us to shine. Maybe that's the time for us to get power points collected. Oh, he... Oh, Aragorn. Rest in peace. I wanted to use Blade Master, but I think they are not paying attention to the bees. Maybe we can deal a lot of damage to the bees of Isengard here. My Aragorn is getting one-shotted. I mean, he's a very strong hero, but look what the enemy got. You know what I'm saying? They have high level units. They have insane leadership. They have combos, fire... I, I don't know. There's like a huge army. I think the only possible way we can deal with that is EOT. Not even Glorious Charge could be helpful. Okay? He's paying attention now to his bees. But we are dealing a lot of damage to it. Let's kill the Uruk bit. This way he won't be able to recruit any more pikemen. And we can eventually keep going. But you see, the durability of the Isengard piece with the level 3 furnaces, guys, it's crazy. It's able to defend itself without any units being nearby. That's unbelievable, dude. <laughs> it's a late game Isengard castle. And I know you guys are always like, why? Oh my goodness. Um, there comes the Balrog of Morgoth. Can we get the power point somehow? Somehow we need like one more power point for the EOZ. Somehow, somehow we need it. Somehow we need it, boys. Come on, please, please. We need to try to kill the Saruman or something. When we kill Saruman, we can maybe do stuff. I'm gonna use the Entala Entalais once again on them. And just go inside the jeans. My ally is using Cloud Break. That's from my ally, I hope. I think so. I don't think the Rohan, enemy Rohan has the Cloud Break. Oh, he stole two of my ants. I don't think the enemy Rohan has Cloud Break because he went for the ants. Okay, now we have EOZ. Okay, that's gonna save the day, hopefully. Okay? We need to kill everything here, boys. We need to kill literally everything. Okay. We killed Lords. That's good. Uh, we can also kill these ants. But we need, I want to kill Saruman first. I want to kill Saruman first. That's much more important for me. Balrog is trying to fly away from, from EOZ, but they can't. We can also ignore the ends. There is no need. Oh, he, he even healed Saruman. That's the second time I see him healing that. That's the team coordination I like to see. But, you know, from EOD, there is no escape. So, EOD can outrun every infantry unit or hero in the game. The Isengard, we, we dealt a lot of damage to Isengard Castle. But we also lost every single Rohirrim during all this time. And we have literally zero units on the field. We have only Legolas. <laughs> That's it. So we need to re rebuild the Citadel, you know. Oh my goodness, there comes the Rohan army, boys. Cloudbreak from the... From who? From our ally. Who used Cloudbreak before? What? I don't understand. It's the second Cloud... Or the... I'm so... I'm so... Guys, yeah, sorry. I'm exhausted this game. Zero command points. Zero command points. Nah, 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 nah. There is too much. We cannot handle this. I don't think we can handle this. Like, they don't, they don't want... I mean, the good thing is we have Glorious Charge, finally. But, hey, I don't want to have the... I don't want to bring the bad news, but I think it's a little bit too late. We have the Glorious Charge. We have money. That's good. Uh, but we need time. And I, I don't think the opening team is going to give us the time we need. You know what I'm saying? We need now lots of Rohirrim upon the field. And... I think the only way we can win this somehow is if our ally is getting the EOD first before the enemy Rohan. And I don't know about that. I think our ally didn't kill too much. I'm gonna use heal here because I have nothing to heal myself. I have only Legolas. Oh, he should keep fighting this, by the way. He should absolutely keep... The thing is, guys, one thing I need to say. If you know your opening has Balrog already and you don't have your EOD, then you need to fight. You need to force fights, even unfavorable fights, in which you will lose more than you will gain. But you have to fight. Because you are under pressure. If you don't fight, the opponent can just sit and wait for the cooldown of Balrog. And if you know that he has Balrog and you have no EOD yourself, then you need to force fights. You have to. Otherwise, you will always lose. So my ally should have kept fighting. Oh, that's a huge Rohirrim army, dude. You see this double star on top of the Rohirrim? They are level 10 and stuff like this. Lord Skrill, killer. Dude. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I have Theoden and two Rohirrim, but they are only level 1. Oh, my goodness. I, we can do nothing about the situation. 
Gonna go for a trample, I guess. But here's the Pikeman crossbowman in combination. The second I trample, I receive insane amount of damage. Can I get experience here with the Hyojin and Rohirrim? Oh my, they don't want to die too. You see, Tyrion get already level two and a half. Oh, but the enemy has Eori. Okay, I mean, that's it, boys. GG well played. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was a loss, but I think it's still a fun game. And if you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a track. And as always, stay beyond standards. Damn!